Hi, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Carrie Sega Cafe. I'm Carrie Ann hartley Sikowski. We're here, we're live, and we're in Cary, North Carolina, in studio with Amnon. Hello. And How we, are you? Oh, I'm very good. I'm here. I'm back. I'm home. I don't care what you say, Tom. Tom's back in New Jersey, and we got Fran here in studio. Uh, Fran and Anthony have just been kind enough and dorm to let me stay at my house there. Um, and uh, so this is what we do, and this is how we roll. Um, we're live in studio tonight, and um, our side tonight is dedicated uh, to uh, the Rescue Animal, Anim- Animals Association. Uh, Bubbles in Jersey is one of our my little niece and nephew that I go see every time down here, and that we've done a lot of things with uh, the rescue. I was at uh, Denise is in the room. I was at her house yesterday, and she um, does the boarding and rescuing for horses. Um, and also that that's what we thought that we dedicate tonight to the animals because it's really important that they get taken care of. And let's get them out of the kill shelters, please. Please, people. Our number here is 323-792-3050. Again, 323-792-3050. Uh, you can call. You can chat. Uh, you can just sit back and listen. But I have to tell everybody it's come down to it. And I know it's going to sound really like, you know, whatever. But um, the rule is one one question. If you're going to chat the question, I'll get to you. You don't have to call in a question if you're going to chat the question. But if you call in, then don't chat the question. I'm going to get you, babe. I got this covered. Um, and that's the rules. And if we go through everybody, the chat room's full already. And uh, Tom the Bomb's in there, Susanna, and everybody is going to help out. And today we have Lee Brown calling in about 8.50 regarding me going to on um, July 27th, 28th. I'm going to be at um, staying at the Carriage Inn uh, with Andrew Perrin on the third floor. But what we're going to do is go to Dixie Ghostland uh, Paragon. And um, that's on August 22nd and 28th in Aiken, South Carolina. We're going to be there. And I'm going to be doing readings for free uh, for um, a memorial uh, for the reservation for the mounds. Okay? So if you, everybody got it and you want to do something and donate something, I would suggest you please get in touch with Lee Brown. She's going to tell you how to do that today. You can go to Dixie, Paralo- uh, Dixie Ghostland Paragon. And that is um, on Everything. Hey, has anybody seen The Conjuring? Scare the living pants off you. It's all true. Andrea the movie came in, came out, and it's already top seller. Um, my people already have um, IM me and said, "Oh my God, I like, I'm not going to sleep ever again." The movie is true. It's based. Go see it. It's amazing. Do not bring your children again. Our number is three two three seven nine two three zero five zero. A little something different. All the regulars in the room that's been with here with our chat here at um, Carrie Second Cafe will be calling in. And um, asking the questions from the chat tonight. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And they could call in and they could uh, tell, ask me you know, three questions. Right, Yamlam? Hmm? Yes, absolutely. And we're going to take the first call. Hi, Michael. I am. Hello? Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, can Michelle, what's can up? Can you tell me? How are Hello? you? Hi, Michelle. You are live. Okay, can you tell me, am I going to move to a nice place, okay. someplace safe? Hi, Michelle. Um, I ask you to walk away from your computer, please, because you're kind of echoing and we can't really hear you. I, I believe the Guardians say that, yes, you are going to be moving to a whole different location, something that's warm but yet less humid, and that you're going to be able to go live into a fixed income property level, and that the land that you're going to be on is amazing, um, but your Guardian that is addressing you right now is a great grandmother. And she comes with you and often comes around you. And that I know your financial structure is, is what it is. You have a set income. But there's something that's missing in your financial structure. You have to figure it out and make it happen. It could be something from a paper. Thank you. A paperwork uh, or something uh, like that. Missing from what? Thank you. Again, we didn't really get to go why I look up. I look up four wonderful guardians. And I'm just like the middle person. But that's why I look up and say thank you because we have to be thankful. And, again, if you didn't go out and see the movie Conjuring, you should. Again, you could call in, you could chat, book a reading. Listen, you don't have to call in or chat to book a reading. We kind of figured out that this is what's going on because of the last web request. We figured it out. You don't have to call in. You don't have to be the one to call in or chat in the chat room. If you're listening, the 2,000 people or 2,000 people that are just listening and not doing anything, you have the right to click above my head and get the web request. The, the name for the show today is Amnon. If you say Amnon, then you get... Forty-five minutes. You get the you get the forty-five dollars for the, for fifteen minutes special for the show. Again, it's Amnon, and if you do that and write that in the web request, you get it. 
It's 15 minutes, $45, and it's a hit, okay? We're going to do it again. We're going to rock it. Hi, Anna. You're live. Hi. Hey, baby. What's up? Um, I want to be an actress when I'm older, and I just wanted to know, like, is Anna? what I have to do to, like... I need to know how old Anna is. They said she's not old enough for me. I just wanted to know if I'm if I'm like gonna be famous. Okay, Aunt, uh, Aunt, can I ask you how old you are? Seventeen. I would love to help you. Give me a call back next year, my love. I can't read you unless you're eighteen and above. Guardians will not let it, but I suggest you call back because you would love it. All right, thank you. All right, again, our not. Susanna's on. Hello. Hi. Hey, Susanna. Hi, Susanna. How you doing? Um, <laughs> so what do you think about the three questions per all our regulars in the room? Isn't that a cool idea from Tom that's in New Jersey, the bomb? Hi, honey. Yep. <laughs> okay. So what you got all for right. me? I have three questions from chat for you. Okay, go ahead. She's on the money. <laughs> all right. The first one is from Unique Chris. Hi, Chris. And, and he said that in a dream he was given a date. And the date is July 2017, and he wants to know what you can tell him about it. Oh, that's where the commitment is finally. Oh, okay. Oh, also, you're going to meet somebody from your past that you haven't met before by the name of Eugene, E U G E N, and it's a family member that you haven't met. That's a significant part of your whole chain of group of people that you are going to be with. You have to really concentrate and very much so. Continue that tree growth uh, reg- regarding your development. Um, stay amazing like you are because you just have an amazing ability. And just try not to get fed up with people when they're not nice because we have to kill. We, we have to make sure that we kill people. The kindness has to always stay. If everybody was to take all the badness out and we could bring all the goodness in, it'll always be amazing. Chris, that's what it means. Please look it up. Thank you. The next one, Suze? Um, the next one is... From Norma. Hey, Norma. And Norma, Norma was wondering, okay, if her father that passed away wants to tell her anything. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Norma, um, I just wanted to know what the problem was with the foot. The, he said either there is or something that's growing in the foot area that's, there, that's not really a good thing. There's something that is a, a form base of it, some type of something that's developing. And also the fact that when you, when you handle problems among the family, thank you, thank you. When you handle problems among, among the family, always be in control. Don't be the one that always backs down. That's what they said. Thank you. And uh, what's next is, this is cute. Um, Curly. Oh. That's Curly me. forgot the names of his guardians. And so he wanted to know again what the name of his Girl. guardians are. Her guardians. Curly's are her, right? Curly's my Cindy, and her guardians are her mother and her father. So she knows that. Okay. Okay. Well, that was Curly's question. And All that's right, the Curly. Third question. And, and just continue not smoking. You know that. So what's what's your question today? How are you doing? Who me? Yeah. No. Yeah, you. <laughs> Well, I spent the day at the Canal Fest, which is the biggest thing that goes on in the summer here. Million, you know, a hundred, couple of five hundred thousand people go to it. Wow. I took a seven-year-old and twelve-year-old neighbor with me, and I just got home a little while ago, and I'm exhausted. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be posting pictures. Watch. I'm exhausted. Did you girls. hear? Her? I'm exhausted. I love the accent. I'm yeah. exhausted. Okay. <laughs> well, then I'll, I'll let you go, Miss Exhausted. But I want to thank you so much for tuning into us because you were exhausted today. Thank you so much. And I'll much. call you back with more questions when it's my turn again. All right, loving. Bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. It's bye. Uh, bye. Our number here is 323-792-3050. If you haven't already, please like my Facebook page. It's Carrie Ann hartley Sikowski. It's Professional Psychic Carrie Ann hartley Sikowski. We changed it. Like it, follow, or you can Facebook. No, no, no. It's someone else. Okay. Um, and also, you can get me on Twitter at Carrie Psychic. And also, book a reading. Book a reading by Bub by Head or go to w.carrypsychicafe.com. We're looking for it. I told you, you don't have to be chatting or calling to get one. And the code name is Amnon. We have a phone call here? Mary Beth. Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, Carrie. How's it going? It's going. I'm in North Carolina. I'm happy. I'm sorry, Jersey people, but oh. I am so happy. Okay, what can I help you with today? 
Okay, I just have a lot of things going on with my job, and I was wondering what you still what you see in the future for me at work. Could we? Um, is there a way of just um, making that louder? For, oh, can you just a little bit? I must be my sure. hearing. Thank you so much. You're talking. They're talking about a condition at work when your people around you that are not exactly your friends, that you have some animosity going on or some change up going on at your work, and that what you really need to do is be strong. And you need to, as you're, are you looking for other employment at this moment? No. You should be. Really? Yeah, you, you need to really, you need to change it up a little bit because where you're at, you're not appreciated and you can make so much more money. So sharpen up okay. the resume and go on to... Okay, so go on to the okay. uh, go on to something as far as a job quest and get oh, he, they uh, they actually say that you should go into temporary work. It'd be more profitable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something. It's a change up. Sometimes life's about change up, sweetheart, and we have to do it. But it'll work out. You'll call back within a week or two. You'll ask anybody in the room. You'll call back and things will work out. The guardians, I got four of them. They ain't gonna stare you different. So please do so. Please, please do so. All right. Okay. God bless. Thank okay, you so thanks. much. Thank you. Our number here is 323-792-3050. We're here. We're live, and we're happening. Hi, Laura. Hi. How are you? Uh, I got that you, you going on. Hmm? Um, yeah, I wanted to know about uh, my love life and my job. <laughs> kind of a mess. Okay, so which one is the most valuable to you, your love life or your job? Because it's a one-question <sighs> show, and I'd be glad to give you that. Oh, okay. I would ahead. give uh, – listen. Um, I have no, my I, love life. Okay, so – and they're telling me that a significant other. Are you with somebody? Um, You're no, kind of with I'm somebody? people. Huh? They're multiples. I'm, what, I'm why they keep people, yeah. They're telling me multiple people. Is that true? I can't really hear you. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, so you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision as to the right one is for you. I'm going to tell you this. Oh, thank you. Are you going to tell me who? Okay. They're going to say that there's somebody that's more of a friend than a relationship at this moment and that you're kind of like kind of teetering over. What's with the wall up? What's going on? What? Why do you have the wall up? Um. I, I, I'm divorced and... Yeah, well, you got that I'm wall up. Well, how's anybody going to get in? Relationship. Yeah, but you need to let people in, yeah. Laura. If you don't let people in, like, you got to love from your... Thank you, I'll tell her. You got to love from your, your heart and your mind, they said. You're not doing... It's like, you get there and then you get, like, really not like, oh, she's oh, not the one. He doesn't have this. Like, you have this picture in your head already about who you want. It's like, if I could... Do you ever see the movie Weird Science? Okay. Ever see the movie Weird, Weird Science? Then you could, if you can make no. your own, oh, well, you need to look it up because they made this doll into this perfect woman. It was a whole show, and that's what you want. You okay. want this. You got. You want to try to make it yourself. So you need to go with, take the wall down. They're telling me that it should be more of a the one that's a friendship, and that you know you would develop a concept for that. But if you want to do any more or talk any more, we have that special going on right now. Click above my head, and you have to say Amnon in the web request. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Have All a good right, night. Thank you. All right, it's three two three seven nine two three zero five zero. Again, the code word is. Anyway, um, the, everybody's calling in and, and doing everything. I'm trying not to look at how handsome Amnon is tonight. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Tom's on the phone. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm I'm really good. I'm a little tired. You, <laughs> your wife is a little tired, but I am just doing what I got to do. So. You're going to read me some wonderful questions, uh, and then we I can... I am going to read you three wonderful questions, my love. <laughs> my love. He never says that. You just must miss uh, me. It's the second day, by the yeah. third day. I know. So what's up? Go ahead, right, here, Come on, here, Tom. Here's the first question from Sandy Redhead. That's a new one. Will my relationship, will my relationship with my current partner last? Oh. Okay, so Sandy, you're all right. So before the relationship lasts, you need to sit down and figure out the significant other. You need to figure out what the the skeletons and what's going on because there and there was also a severe. There's a financial issue going on. Maybe there's also a financial issue going on that she what she needs to do is sit down and have a heart to heart and do some kind of coaching or something like that if they want to make it work. You really do. She could go to. She can actually. You know who she has to go to, right? Marilyn Shannon. Yes. 
Okay, thanks. Next question, sweetheart. What's up, my love? I got uh, this gorgeous from Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Sadie would like to know, hi, hi, Carrie, would like to know if any of my loved ones are around and if they have anything to tell me. So this must be the guardian that's the god. This must be the, the, the male figure. It has to be the grandfather because the grandfather keeps saying that what direction she's doing and everything that she's choosing in her life could be better. I'm not saying it right. Wait a minute, Thomas. The direction that she's doing in her life and how she goes about things, she has to finish what she starts. If she finished what she starts, then she would have a better life and have things. He's always around. He actually tries to mess with her sometimes, and I think that she could see it and hear it. It's just like kind of like a blind side. You need to channel, and you need to, you need to get in touch with me and figure out how you do that. I think we're going to need to put the workshop together for people to learn their yes. insight. Yes, we do. There's so many people. What's next, dear? All right, Chrissy. Mm-hmm. She says, hello, wondered if you can let me know if I'll ever have a good relationship with my male boss. I get along with the female very well, just can't seem to get any strides with him regardless of any effort. Well, that's because he's, it's infuri- he's infuriated with you because you're smarter than him. That's all it is. It's about how much more you know. You could run that place with your eyes closed. Maybe your boss should let you run the business because the guardians are like, she's brilliant at got it. I think you'd have to understand that you could run that business, but you might have to try to get a different job. Because if you got it, I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere because he's very, very, he's very, very nervous around you. You also have the insight to want to make businesses. You have grew great with businesses. You should do some type of business investing. That's my thing. Thank you. Guardian say, please do that. Try to do a, a different thing. But she's not going to make anything different with this boss. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue with that. Is that it, Tom? That's all I have right now. I'm on the rotation, sweetie. Okay. Uh, could you uh, kiss Lewis for me? I will. All right. I'll call you after the show. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you on next rotation. Bye, okay. Tom. Very good. Bye. Bye. Okay. Our number here Bye-bye. is three, I love uh, numbers 323-792-3050. Uh, you could call. You could chat. And um, what we have is Matt Jones calling in. Hi, Aunt Joan. Hey, Aunt Joan. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm okay. Aunt Joan has three questions for me. She's on rotation. She was yeah, com- okay. but I think they asked my question. All right. The, the first one, Lily Grace wants to know if she has any guardians. Yeah, actually, it's somebody that's named after. She's named after the person that the guardian is, Lily Ann. Lily Ann. L-A-L-A-N-N. Lily Ann. And Lily... Um, you have an amazing ability also. You just need to really do yourself a favor and, like, channel into it. And because the guardians and, and, and the dream, oh, and the dream weaver, why? Okay. Um, I thought I was looking into the camera. I'm not. I'm still looking at you. Okay. Um, I'm trying here. I'm not giving me a hard time, Aunt Joan. Um, and that's what's with that. Yes, it's your grandma. <laughs> I'll have my aunt after you. You're in trouble. Okay. What's next? Thank you. All right. Andrea wants to know, what can she do to bring her family together? Wow, that's a tough one. Oh, did it? Oh, they got you got like a black sheep. You got somebody who has a problem with someone. You have some type of um, some type of ailment and situation with an addiction. What she could do is she could be the heart of the family. She's the one that could bring everybody together and make a stand and actually do. Okay, do the right thing. You have to want to make, if you're positive, people will follow. You have to be the one to bring it together. And something about a brother is the one that's a real ball buster. You don't need to, if somebody doesn't want to be involved with it, then let them go. I just had this conversation with somebody that's very close to me. And that sometimes you just can't bring everybody together, my love. You just got to let it be and live your life and have your family. And God bless everybody. But I think that if you left, there's a male figure. Out there, there, thank you. Gardens is saying a brother figure. Take him to the curb. What's next? Thanks, Aunt Joan. What's next? Oh, one more from Sa- there's a Sam. Mm-hmm. Does my dad that passed have anything to say to me? That's from Sam. Okay. Hey, Sam. Oh, Sam, you need to do something regarding a school issue. You need to either go back or take some courses in order to further educate yourself in order to make your life better. And also, you have a real bit numbers. Numbers is an issue, like, as far as financial, keeping the check. You need to watch the money. 
because there's things that are come up and, and come forward. You need to watch the money because if you don't, there'll be problems with it. Um, that's what you need to do. All right. Anything else? No, that's my three questions. No, no. Okay. Thanks, All right, sweetie. Angela. I'll talk to you later. Okay, honey. Thank you. Bye, honey. Bye. Say, that's what everybody's doing tonight. They're calling in the question. Hey, Stace. Hello. Hi, Stacy. You're alive. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. I wanted to know if the information that I was given from another medium about my husband's accident was correct. Can you tell me that? That's stepping on toes? Well, I just, you just want to, I'm sorry, give me one second. This okay. is a, there's a conflict of interest here because there's more to it than what you were told. There was more to it than what I was told. Yeah. That's what another medium said. Absolutely. So you need, if you would kindly, there's a, there's this, there's, what there is is a, I, I hold a special for readings for anybody that listens, watches, calls in. It's uh, 45 for 15 minutes. It'd be well worth it for you to call, to make an appointment and talk to me. And talk to, well, it's not me. I'm just the middle person. I know everybody hates that. I forgot it. Let, you, you need to really know everything. So do yourself a okay. favor and take, take the opportunity to do so. Okay? What number should I call? Um, all you have to do is hit above my head. Are you, on, are you in the chat too? No, I'm just on the telephone with you. I'm okay. listening. All right, just listen. To, you can go, yeah, you can do uh, www.carriepsychiccafe.com and uh, just hit web request and put in it Amnon. And you'll get the fee. Okay. You, you'll get it. And they'll schedule you. You know, you got to go through all the things. It tells you how to do it there. It's WW. Okay. Carrie I'll Psychic Cafe. Yeah, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. The Guardians and I will be. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, lovey. Um, again, our number is 323-792-3050. We're here. We're live. We're rocking. Hey, Beth. Hi, Carrie. How are you? <laughs> I'm awesome. Do we have our three? We have some questions for you. Uh, first okay. one is from Norma. Isn't it Norma cute? says, hi, Carrie. I was wondering if my father who passed away wants to tell me anything. Ooh. Okay. Um, Norma, um, there's a family member that's uh, got a little bit of an ailment that you need to know about. It is, um, the, um, it's a lower pancreatic issue, and there's, uh, there's, a, there's a series. Of ser- Can you tell me who? A mother's side. The aunt, uh, aunt of a mother's side, Norma? that has an issue and with you you have to you have to go to the dentist they want you to go to the dentist that's exactly what they say go to the dentist and what's the next one beth next one is from mary tina now mary tina has a few in the chat room um one i don't know if it's a question um for your guardians the first says how is lance and bradley doing they're telling me that they're lost they're okay, but they're lost. They need to understand. They need to understand exactly what happened, why it happened, and how come it happened so quickly. So, if she can maybe answer that in the chat room, that would be great. Okay. Right. Um, if she also said, "Who are my guardians?" I don't know if you want to give someone else a chance first. Yes, could we? Thank you. Sure. Thank uh, you. Eva says, "When will me and my fiance get our own place?" Oh God, you need to get your own place. This is the one. Okay. You guys are, like, so suffocating where you're living at now. It's like everybody's on top of one another. Everybody voices their opinion. Okay, can you give me a date? I hang in there after Christmas. There's a bonus coming up with Eva's um, partner, our husband. There's a bonus going to be coming up that we'll be able to get them in. And a little fixed income. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a Christmas bonus. One and, and, and together they can get the heck out. Oh, God, do that. You poor people. They're, like, living on top of one another like ants. Okay. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, dear. Night. Love you. Okay, we're going to go. Our, our number here is 323-792-3050. It's an awesome show. What do you think, Amnon? Right, mm-hmm. Hey, Earl. Hey, Earl. Hey, Hey, what can I help you with tonight? You're live. Well, um, I have, a, I have a, some intertwined business and personal issues. And I was wondering if maybe you could help me out with that. 
Intertwined meaning you have a relationship with somebody in the in, in the business. Is that what you mean by it? When I hear intertwined, uh, no, no, not really. No, I, no, I'm just, I'm not. I'm about... asking you about me, for me. Intertwined means when there's a personal and a relationship going on. So when you say intertwined, the guardians don't come up with anything because it would be. Is it all business? Is what you're talking about? Well, um, no, it's more uh, like if I, I want to, I want to close my business for personal reasons, you know? Yeah, and well, I understand. Okay, so really, that's really what you sure. mean. It's a business. It's a business. Okay, so it's a business question. Thank you. So can we help? Uh-huh. Um, no, well, no, okay. I want, I want to close my business, Yeah, like I, I, said, I understand. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I will. Okay, I'm going to answer. Give me one. They said that the business is going to short, it's going to close, but the person that you need to sell it to will be able to make the business something more than what it is. So, are you? Do you have it for sale? Are you? Uh, in the, in the, do you uh, know? No, no, I don't. You no, need. I'm, I'm you, you need just to. thinking about it right now. You need to start making it happen because you're done. Thank you. They said you're done with it. You're done with it, and the sale of the no. business, you're, you're just finished. You're, it's time for you to move on. Keep on moving on. So, but you need to find somebody that. Thank you. They said the business is so valuable that you need to find somebody that will keep the business going, but even vi- make like revamp it, like make it like you know more. So, more, you know, yeah. yeah, you need to do it. Yeah, you need to do it. So, Wiker Realtor, I don't know if, where you live or where you're at. They keep on throwing down Wiker Realtor to me. And somebody by the name of Jovan will, will sell your business for you. So, if you're going okay. to go and you're going to do it, they just gave you a greet in. Now, they're telling realtors. Okay, thank you so much for calling okay. in. Okay, thank book you. Book a reading. Um, and how you can book a reading, go to Bob by Head and Click or do www.carriepsychiccafe.com and go on and click on web request. He's from Mike from Sepia. I guess so. I hope so. Sell it and sell it to somebody to merge it. Hey, Mike. Hi, Carrie. How are you? How you doing? What's up? I'm doing great. I'm doing good. I I just had a real quick question. Um, I've had a possible uh, job prospect um, come up yesterday, something that I'm very excited about, and I was wondering if you could uh, see anything with that, if, if, if that would maybe come to fruition. Oh, my God. The Guardian said that it's a new beginning for you. It's additionally to what you're doing now. It, 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 what you're yes, doing that now is, and what you're... Oh, true. Yes, but they said what you're doing now is, is, is big, but this is even larger. And it's like going even more international. And it involves even larger people of, of the domain, which meaning more people that are more into it, have been around or acknowledged. Like you're going to the next level, whatever, whatever you're doing in the... They're showing me headphones, so I don't know why they're doing that. I'm sorry, Mike, but they got this going on, and then they're showing me something, and then and and, and, and something of jewelry's missing in your family. Some of your wife, some of the, something about a piece of jewelry that's missing, a ring or something. But um, but with this, what you're asking, the guardians say that it's it's like it's like a larger it's a larger form of what you're doing, but it's it's around it's around the sit. Thank you. Can you just tell me the right words? Thank you. They, they said it's it's around larger people, bigger people. It's going to make it larger. Okay. That's what I mean, Mike. I'm sorry. It took so long to stumble. But whatever it is, if you if your wife, oh, is, okay. <laughs> your wife, she, I don't know, you know, the, the, the J, J comes up with you always J. So it, there's something lost. There's a piece of jewelry. There's something lost. And it's right in the back of the there's, it's it's in the back of the laundry room. It's in the dryer thing. It just got caught in there. So there's something there if you need to go look. So they had to get that out. Okay, we will do that. All right, thank you, love. Thank you for calling in. Uh, number is 323-792-3050. What's the jewelry? Anyway, you can call in. You can chat. Why is the hair sticking up on my head? I'm here, you know, got hair yeah. issues. Hi, Susiani. <clears throat> Hi, how you doing? I'm uh, back. <laughs> oh, poor Susiani. She's exhausted. It's all right. I'm doing good. I'm doing right. good. Okay, we got exhausted. Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Andrea. Andrea wants to know, what can I do to bring my family together? Do we just have Andrea's question? Okay, we'll answer it again. Andrea, your, your family has been through hell and back regarding, it's not the Andrea you're thinking of, um, but your family has been through to, to, all the drama. There's, a, there's, there's trauma and drama. Hey, I'm, I'm rhyming today. Trauma and drama, and the Guardians are saying that there is a situation that went on regarding regarding it's about money, it's about lying, 
It's about the situation. Um, this is going to be a rough one. You really need to figure out where is it going. And there's some type of some type of something that needs to be something that needs to be well, something that, somebody needs to say they're sorry. That's what they're trying to say. Okay, next one, babe. Okay, the next one is Natasha. Huh? Her name is not Nan Tasha or Non Tasha. Thank you. Hi, Non Tasha. Okay, and sh she wants to know what is the situation with her house, and she also wants to know: Am I going on the right uh, path with her uh, with her job? The right direction, actually, is the way she said it with her job. All right, thank you, Susanna. The guardian say that the house is 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 at the point of for of um, bankruptcy or foreclosure. Um, that there's a lot of they're see, they're showing a lot of paperwork as far as the house. She needs to really think about um, the house needs a lot to be fixed. And there's also okay. Aaron says that my guardian says that there's a lot of fungal issues with the house and there's a lot of damage. There's some type of damage going on with the house and that if she got rid of the house. And there's money owed. I don't know if it would be a balance out. The accountants, there's like a, there's a money situation. Um, the job is okay, but you need to, if you put all your mind, thank you. If you put all, they said, if you put all your mind into your job, things would be better. But right now, you're all over the place. So if you weren't all over the place, you'd be better off. But you need to figure out, either you're going to sell that house, you're going to make that house go away. Um, you're going to, you know, there's no way to rent it. Because if you put something in it, to make it sick due to the situation. And what's the next question, Suze? Okay, the next one, <laughs> oh, wait, with her was, um, she also had a question, um, is she going in uh, the right direction with her job? Yeah, I answered that for her, lovey. Okay, so um, Mary Tina had asked three different questions in chat, and I don't know if, uh, choose one. if you got all three of them. You could, you could just choose the one you feel that you want to say. All right, well, she had asked, she wanted to know who her guardians were. Okay, that's not a problem. Because the guardians, the guardians say that it would be a, um, a father figure and that it would be um, a brother figure. Now, I don't know who lost a child, if she lost a child, because the father think the, the guardians say that the father figure, we are, or say, with a G in front of it, either they lost a child, she lost a child, or the mother, they have the baby. That's all they keep saying to the guardian. Oh, you're so right, because her other question was, are her dad and brother together, and are they with her sons? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You got it. Bingo. That's what we do here. We rock it. Thank you, Sis. All, right. all right. Talk all right. to you later. All right. So here, this is what happens at CarriePsychicCafe.com. Our number here is 323-792-3050. We're here. You can chat. And those of you that are just sitting back and listening and enjoying this wonderful, wonderful up in here face and listening to our awesome guardians, um, you could actually book a reading by going to www.carrypsychiccafe.com. Get on there, and our code word today is Amnon. Okay, so if you do that, write that man's name on there. You will get 15 for 45, okay? And um, again... What we do here is we uh, have four wonderful guardians that I hear and they speak through. And um, we um, answer questions on health. We answer questions on uh, the type of careers you may have, missing person, find out about your guardians. Um, we're going to try to develop a concept regarding the workshops. Everybody wants to know about workshops. Emma's not letting me look at it. Um, and, uh, and I can't look at Amnon, so I'm going to go like this all night. You know, just something about him that's just so look at it. But anyway, so um, I think I'm going to do a workshop. So he's doing it again. It's mesmerizing. Anyway, um, so what we do here is 323-792-3050. Just having a good time. It's been a really long weekend so far. Aunt Joan's on with more questions. Hi, Aunt Joan. April, April wants to know, <laughs> she said things are going really well with her boyfriend. Right. And she thinks that all the skeletons are out of the closet. Can you confirm that? Absolutely. Yes. I was just looking at um, April's uh, picture today, uh, Whitehead. And um, if that's the right one, because the guardians say it's her. Um, absolutely. You are with the right person. I told you when we had a reading, you stay with this dude. You make it happen. The pool, the lake, everything is just perfect. Just go with it. And all, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. Just go with it. Yep. Next one, please. Thank you, Angela. Oh, I... 
Uh, I'm not sure if this was read. Maria? Okay. She wants to know who her guardian angels are. Oh, okay. Her her guardian angel would be her aunt, but it's not of her of her descendant. It's somebody that was from her past life that comes in, and it's Rosanna, R O S A N A. And she also wants her to know that she needs to just start doing something regarding the sleep. Now the sleep phases. She don't sleep correctly. She doesn't like, and I don't know if it's a, of of a breathing or a sinal, but she has some type of drip in order at nighttime in order to keep on keep on. So that's an issue too. But and the next one, Aunt Joan. I have to stop banging my Um Well, I'm reading this down. I hope early. I didn't take somebody else's question. Uh, yeah. K-T, K-A-Y-T-E-E. Okay. She wants to know who her guardians are. It's a guardian night. Do I know how their health is? Okay. Your grandfather. Your grandfather. And there's something regarding um, a living situation that you need to be really, really attentive to. Really. Book a reading. Say Amnon. Go to the website. You need one. Thank you, Aunt Joan, so much for helping out tonight. Thank you okay, so sweetie, much. Okay, sweetie. Talk to you later. Thank you. See, this is a cool idea, don't you think, though? Hey, Trish. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, I Trish, think it's a Trish, where are you real calling? estate night. Where are you calling oh. from? I think I know her. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York. Yep. Okay. What, what, do, we, what do you got? Um, I'm trying to do a real estate development deal, and it's been bogged right. down, and uh-huh. I'm wondering if it's going to close. The Guardians say that it's due to close. I didn't hear your last part, but are you looking for a close? Um, no, it's been held up um, in the, you know, uh, neighborhood process, the uh, building permit process. Yeah, you're looking to see when it's going to close, when it's going to develop, correct? Yes, sorry. Well, that's what I just said, when it's going to close. They said it's going to close in November. Because and, and they're telling that the health department and the business code people are dragging their butt. Okay. They said that get people, get on it ASAP. Do not let them, like, let it go, let it go, because people are just not doing what they're supposed to do to get this thing done. You need to close it at least before Thanksgiving, because you could really use, you could really, you could really use this in order to make your life a hell of a lot better, because you've got some serious stuff going on. You're great at what you do. You really are. You, could, you should also think about, in, you could also think about international sales, because you are an amazing set. You can, you can do really, you really know quality. Just, thank you. The Guardian say you really know quality. And quantity. You're very good at what you do, so you should keep on keeping on. Really. Seriously. But thank you so much for calling in. Okay. Thank you. Our number here is 323-792-3050. We're here. We're live. And we're rocking. Um, what you could do right now is, um, if you seeing this and you have one question and you have more questions, we want you to book a reading. I'm going to, like, shove it down everybody's throat tonight all day, all night long because it's important you ask one question. If you wait every week to ask the one question, it'll take you months and years. Right, Amnon? Right. All right, so book the reading, okay? It's, it's f- worth every penny. Thank you so much. Amnon said. So you have to do it. So just go to www.carriepsychiccafe.com. Tom should be saying it in the chat right now. Um, Tom's in New Jersey. I'm in North Carolina. And um, we're just, like, having a ball here. I'm with Fran, and uh, Fran's in studio, so... Uh, it's good. It's it's been a rock and rock. Now listen, so Fran, should we tell them about tomorrow? Tomorrow live. All right, Fran, we have an event that we put on Facebook. Um, listen, it's getting kind of booked. So if you're gonna like want to do the reading and come to the Facebook event in Durham, could you please either I am Fran or I or Tom and let us know the time, please. We've been going getting back to people and we're ready. Like gonna maybe have to just only do twenty minute readings. Because we're getting there, and uh, we got a lot going on. Um, and we have people coming up, uh, possibly from um, Sepia Radio, to come over. And um, I think we have the Ghost uh, Hunters. We, we, I know we do. Um, we have certain people coming up that if you book, if you come in and book a reading, you're going to meet some serious people tomorrow. You really are. Um, so we have a really a great lineup in Durham. And uh, how can you get that uh, thing? It's on Facebook. If you go to Facebook and it says Durham Psychic Carry and Hartley Sokowski Durham event, very easy. Um, just put on there. And what we'd like you to do is the contact information. We really would really like you to tell me what time you'd like to have. Because we already have some booked. And we'd love to see you. And you can meet some people and get some hors d'oeuvres. 
Fran and I are going to put out and um, have a great time. So we're going to be doing that. But furthermore, Fran and I are going out to dinner tomorrow night uh, with Marilyn Channing and her husband. And it's going to be an exciting night. And uh, that's when Carrie's going to do her downtime. And then I'll be flying back to uh, New Jersey on Tuesday. Not sure yet. Might have to stay one more day. Don't kill me, Tom. Okay, so we'll talk about that later on in the car. Uh, also, great news. Fran got a new Sonata today. <laughs> we were at the dealership, and you know everybody, I sold cars and did this on the side for 11 years. But you know what? I closed the deal today. I sold that poor young kid to know what happened over there. And uh, all nice people there, right, Fran? Yeah. Yeah. So we had a great time. I stood there, and it only took a couple hours, and uh, they gave her actually a courtesy card, so her brand-new red Sonata comes in, limited edition. Uh-huh. No money down, baby. All right, so we rocked that today. Um, so, again, we have Jen Brown calling in. And why is she calling in, Carrie? Why, does, why is she calling in? Because Carrie is going to um, Aiken, South Carolina on the 27th to 28th, and I'm going uh, to attend Dixie Ghostland Paragon. And I'm going to be doing readings um, for the memorial for the um, reservation of the Indians um, for the research of the mounds. And we can't really go on, you know, it's reserved and it's, and it's, and it's you know, it, it's really, really um, a sacred, sacred area. And um, you could actually hear about what I'm going to do if you go to uh, Lee's, uh, Lee Brown's uh, website over there for her. Uh, she actually has her own. I was on her show. I was on Jason, Jason Stetton's show on uh, Ghost Shot Radio. He's going to be there. Andrew Perrin's going to be there. Um, we are going to be staying in um, Carriage Inn, which is like a really haunted, haunted establishment. And uh, we're going to be. And Tom's on the phone. Uh oh. Hey, Tom. Hey, honey. <clears throat> How are you? I'm, I'm getting hey, through. I, was, I wasn't invited to that dinner tomorrow night. No. Huh? Well, I don't want to. No. no. What, well, honey? I, I wasn't. Honey? Yes. Honey? I'm in North Carolina, and you're in New Jersey. I know. But see, I know. But the bottom line... Marilyn did not invite me. Marilyn thinks that you're chopped liver. Oh, I just throwing it out there. <laughs> okay? Uh, All that's right? too funny. All, All right. right. Well, listen. All right. listen. What's, what's here's, a... here's the thing. I, you like my um, new shirt I bought Sandy, at Kohl's? Sandy... Uh, all right. Listen. Sandy Redhead apparently must have been... Missed her question... That you already answered, so I'm gonna. Who? For her sake, Sandy Redhead. I, I answered her question, Thomas. I know. Well, apparently she she didn't. She was. Uh, okay, could you just read it then? Yes. Will my relationship with my current partner last? Yes, it will. But you need to get guidance. You need to get counseling, and you need to like get all the crap on the table. The guardian said also get some kind of coaching now. Again, let's just put it out there. If Marilyn Shannon could do this every week and fix this, she can fix you. But if Marilyn Shannon, go to Marilyn's Facebook and uh, start some counseling sessions with Marilyn Shannon because she will fix you. She fixes this every week. So that she really needs to get that done. But, yes, um, that's what you need to do. You will work it out. But And also, stop, stop just here. You have to listen. You have to learn to listen. You can't just hear. You have to learn to listen. So you have to do that. Anything else there, Mr. Tom? And, and Marilyn is in a room, so maybe Marilyn want to put her uh, email message that maybe Sandy mm-hmm. would be able to reach her. Okay, so yes. Is Marilyn in the room, you said? Marilyn's in the room? Uh, Marilyn? Uh, if yes, you, she is. Okay, Marilyn, if you could just contact... Uh, uh, what's her What's her um, name? Sandy Redhead. Sandy Redhead needs your help. So if you can contact her so she can contact you... And figure out how you can set up some things to help her out because she helps you help this. Um, that's a great thing. Uh, Marilyn keeps me ga- gra- grounded. She's a really she's a great mentor. She's not she's an amazing amazing coach. Um, she's actually one of my dear friends. I love her tremendously. Uh, actually, um, I'm going to plug um, everybody's show here right now because here at Nissan Communications, it's not just this beautiful thing that you see. Yeah, right. This is not this show, uh, Carrie Psychic Cafe. But I missed it. If you missed it, I uh, am on has a show Computer 2K now. Uh, no now. Uh, uh, from 9 to, and then Breaking Free. Breaking Free is now going to be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody, this is new, okay? It used to be 8 to 9, now it's 1 to 2. Everybody that's in the room, please, the regulars, please tune in. Let's support Marilyn and her change. 
Um, and Debbie has her. Debbie Brooke has hers on uh, Monday from 11 to 12, right? I don't have my things in front of me. Um, and then we have, what is the Wednesday show, Amnon? Uh, that's in, from 7.30 to 8.30. It's the lesson of Vietnam. Lessons of Vietnam. And then we have Jules. Julie, 9 to 10, uh, reawaken your, your brilliance. Jules can put everything back in perspective, procrastinating, life, um, reorganizing. Jules got it going on. Holistically, Debbie Brooke, please. I, I send people to her show just to watch. Okay, there's so much that she can do and offer everybody. Are you still on the line, Tom? Yeah, I got two more questions. Well, well why don't you get, why didn't you say something? Well, I, you just. I thought over you were done. As usual. Uh, well, ha- okay. <laughs> Even in New Jersey, has added to. Uh, yeah. Hi. Well, I, I have to tell you that you know, just to let you know that Jata, J A J A T A, has a question. Okay, great. And her, her her question is, can you tell me what's going on with my daughter-in-law? Do I have something wrong? No. <laughs> No, it's just a conflict of interest. The daughter-in-law actually has a problem with um, her her son that she married. She has a real problem with the relationship, and she has a real problem with the love and compassion. She's, there's a jealousy issue. Don't worry about it. It's nothing that you did. You're not like a alien or anything. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just, um, and there's a little family issue with uh, her side of the family doing the little bad things to people. Um, contact me above by going to www.carriescafe.com. Book a reading and figure out, and I'll, I'll help you out with what's going on, and we're going to change that. Linda Wagner, is Linda in the room tonight? No, I don't see Linda, but you have so many people in the chat room. It's All right, so what's crazy. the next question, Tom? Well, I just want to let you know that Lee Brown will be calling in around 8.58 p.m. tonight. Now it's 8.58? Well, she has her own other show. Well, I'm going well, to... have to remember, she's trying to yeah, okay. move yeah, out right. of right, what what's the next? What's the next thing? What's the next question? Um, you see, I have three questions. I think I have Oklahoma Lady. Hi, Oklahoma Lady. And her question is, uh, do I have a past life? I think, um, Oklahoma lady, we did it. You have two. Um, one specifically, um, in a deputy format, um, as far as authority, as far as life, as far as like helping people, as far as, as far as, um, can you say that right? Oh, okay. So you were like, like old time, like old time, like cop way. I don't know if you were please. I don't know what you were with that way, but you were that. And also on another half, you were more of life's used to work with people and help them as far as disabilities are concerned. Because you have a compassion, but you can't stand somebody that that that, that isn't that thinks that they're above the law. You have that, you still have that concept. It's going to be with you with your next time of life. It is, it is, really, it is. You know, it is. So that's what her is. That's what her past life is. But thank you for so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how you doing? Hi. I'm doing great. What's up? My Aunt Joan oh. was just on. She really loves you, right? So you just oh, missed yeah. her. Hi, Aunt Joan. So <laughs> anyway, no, but she really should be listening. And So what's up? What's new? I got your email. Oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Look it's been a crazy we're, week. You're great. What's up? I'm in North Carolina, and I'm loving it. Oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. It sounds like it. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I was just, I was just, mm-hmm. I was just wondering, yes. do you see anything going on with me for this week? Hey, you're going through a lot this week. You got a lot going on, um, and you got a lot going on with as far as um, well. So, what's going on with your finances? What are we doing with that? Finances, not not bad. It's just been a little, little bit tight, but uh, you know, not really bad. All right. Actually. Okay. No, it's just tight. You have to just. Oh, the guardians are saying that you have to really keep tight on your money. You have to make sure you do it the right way because we don't want to go backwards. Mm-hmm. We want to go forward. Um, and everybody exactly. knows. So why don't you just? Pl- I need you to let everybody know where you, they can see your show that's coming in August on what and what it is because we've got newbies in the room tonight. You know, you need to plug it in the room. Oh, absolutely! It's going to be Barter Kings. It's on A and E. It's airing August sixteenth. Yes, yeah, so everybody needs to watch it, and everybody knows that. Um, the reason why Jeff calls in, he had a reading. It went very well for him. He has life-changing events. His son 
actually had gotten shot and was and survived. And uh, Jeff um, could uh, also going to put into the chat room if you want to talk to somebody, be a survivor, and get through it. Jeff can help you out. And I want to thank you so much for calling in tonight, Jeff. I got a couple more people, but I want to say thank you. God bless, and I thank you so much for coming and being with our family. But you need to put your stuff in the chat room, okay? I sure will. Thank you thank so you. much. God bless you. Thank you. I see what happens when you book a reading. Everything changes, everybody. Just do it. You're out there. You're listening. Book a reading. What do we got next, damn non? Hi, Aunt Joan. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> I got three. All right. One is from my <laughs> friend David, and he wants to know, is he going to have the job change? Is but, he going to change jobs? Yeah, the guardian said, yes, it is. And it's beneficial to him because the insurance package, uh, the benefit package for health insurance is much better. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, second question is, hi, Carrie. I lost my nanny, Bessie, about 13 years ago, and I'm wondering if she has anything to say to me. Her nanny, Bessie. Yeah, her nan says, where is her? She had this, 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 oh, my God, I don't even know if anybody has a mayor canister set. And she wants to know where is her stuff, like where is the canister set, and that she wants her to know that she's always watching her, but the things that she does represents what she used to do. Um, she's changing, but she wants her to change a little bit more, and she wants to have more self-respect for herself. Don't let people put her down, make it better. But she kind of wants to know where those canister sets are, so if maybe she can answer in the room. And the next question? I got the chills with that one, Carrie, Thank so you. we know that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's uh, my Mary aunt. Tina wants to know, how is my 94-year-old mother doing? She was in a lot of pain today. Oh, the mother's, oh, that's, the grandmother says that she, your mother is going to be, your mother is going to, it's slowly resentful, and something about the head, there's something going on in there that she's, she's not going to either focus anymore, and there's something about a sight problem, there's all things breaking down, and um, things that are, you know, the pain, somebody, oh, okay, all right, calm down, they said up the pain medicine, or do something in order to get rid of the pain, is the arthritis all over her body. She's had a lot of issues with that, that age. She's got issues. But she'll be right. They need to, you need to really something to step up and say, get my mother out of pain. Is that it? <sighs> Thank you, Angela. That's Angel. it, honey. Next one. All right, bye. Bye. All right, our number here is 323-792-3050. We're here. We're live, and we're chatting. I'm in North Carolina. Hi, Susanna. What you got? <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> The first one we have is Carol because she's been waiting a while. And everybody kept missing her question. Oh, uh, why don't you um, talk to Tom and, about that? Okay. And Carol wants to know, okay, um, does her dad have anything to say to her about what is going on in her life? Well, I don't have her dad at the moment here, but my guardians say that her life needs to have a complete halt and change about. And whoever significantly is in her life, it's a negative. She has a lot of negative around her. She needs to contact us. That was her other question. Okay, well, that's what the guardians are saying. That was her other question was, was her boyfriend being faithful to her? No. No. She needs to change it. No. She needs to change it. Change it immediately. Make it go. Make it go. You you deserve so much better. I can just uh, thank you. I know. The guardians, you're an amazing person. You just need to be treated amazingly. So I please do that for yourself. And the next one, Suze? Okay, and this is the last one I have right now. And awesome. And it's Lisa. And Lisa wants to know, um, there's name. rumors going around that mm-hmm. the lounge that she's employed at will be shutting down for renovations. She wants to know, is it true, and if so, when? Yep, it's going to be shut down. It's going to be shut down probably in September. Can you give me a gate? Yeah, they're going to shut it down around the September 24th, 25th, and it's going to be shut down. And to get it reopened again, it will be taking a while because they're going to have to go through a violation code situation. And also about, she, she needs to go find another job. She needs to start looking for another job also because there's something better out there for you, Lisa. You know that. I think they tell them we, we know her somehow, some way. But thank you, Susiana. Go get some rest. Okay, wait a minute. I've got one more question if he types it. Mm-hmm. I will... Tell Johnny, say, I want Johnny to type the question and I'll ask it. Okay, just curious. Johnny C. is just curious about who I was, who he was in a past life. He was an amazing artist. Thank you. He was amazing. He wrote songs. He wrote, he was the first one. He was, he would, he was in the, they're saying something about the song called Bayou, 
Bayou Bayou Rouge. It was long ago, and it was all instrumental. And he actually literally wrote it all out, and he and he played it, and he played it on a oh a pianoist. He it's a pian he was a pianoist. So I don't know if music's involved in his life or what it is, but he definitely is a. There's music in his soul, and it comes out of his fingers, and all he had to do was figure that out because everything about it is music. So that's what that is. But thank you so much, Susiana. All right, just wait one second in case some. I think that might. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Thank you, all everybody. Right, bye-bye. For, bye-bye. Thank you, my aunt. Thank you, everybody else, for calling in. Um, I'm going to thank you so much for uh, doing everything you do um, here at uh, KerryPsychicCafe.com. Um, what we do is uh, you can go www.carrypsychiccafe.com. You could call in, you could chat, but you could book a reading. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to plug one more time. If you go to www.carrypsychiccafe.com and you cook or cook above my head, you can book a reading. And the magic word today is Amna. Okay, you can get the 15 for 45. Why not? Take a chance. And if you like it, book more. You get a discount also. What we're trying to do is make it very economical for everybody who gets only, can't just have one question. All we can do is one question. Guardians allow only one question. All right? That's the way it rolls. That's where we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. And if you want more, we're offering something to you. So why not take advantage of it? Everybody in the room that has a reading will tell you how amazing the reading is. It's changed people's lives. It's made people do different things. Everything has changed for the better. And I have four guardians that just rock, Okay. Um, again, I'm going to be out in uh, South Carolina, and I'm going to be rocking that show. I'm going to be doing free readings over there uh, for Lee Brown. She's an, she's an amazing she's an amazing woman, too. She has a paranormal team, and uh, Jason Statton's going to be out there, Andrew Perrin. We're all going to be hooking up. But there's many, many more. If you just go to Dixie, uh, go send um, Paracon, and you just click on it, you're going to see all the famous people that are going to be there. So if you live around South Carolina... And you could be down there, and you could spend a day or two down there. Why not? Everybody's going to have their own boots. It's going to be amazing. You're going to get to see amazing people and do amazing things. So, um, again, our show tonight was dedicated to the Human Rights and Reserves. You can donate it. Hey, you know what? This show needs sponsorship, actually. So if anybody believes in what we do and wants to sponsor it and get your beautiful name printed across here ooh, as we go and on some other shows, then I suggest that you get in touch with NissanCommunications.com. And you say, I want to sponsor Carrie Seki Cafe. Okay? Because if you do, it's a rag off. So just do it. Things will work out with Robert. Oh, they're calling him Robert. Whatever. All right? But the problem with you is that you need to start understanding where Robert came from, because they're calling him Robert, not Bobby. They're calling him Robert, but you need to understand where he came from and how his ways are not like your ways, so you guys are much different, like you're like this. You need to uh, cut back on all that and make sure that everything goes your way, okay? Um, because if you don't if you do not do that and you don't start, like, and you oh, God, trust issues. Man, you guys got issues with trust. Just do it, all right? Just do it. So, again, I wanted to say to everybody that um, was tuned in, and had an awesome time and enjoyed our, themselves and everything. And I'm just a little beat. I've had a really, really awesome. Denise, thank you so much for letting me at your home. I had an awesome event. I met Bob, the horse. She's gonna be. She runs a horse farm up there. She's going to be having a lot of autistic and um, children going up. And I'll let you know the name when she gets it. She's going to be boarding um, horses that are um, have been abused and neglected. And, I mean, she just runs an awesome. She's a beautiful house. But I want to thank her. And everybody I met last night was totally awesome. Thank friend Anthony again for everything they do do every week. And I'm for a great show. My husband for being tolerating and loving me and standing by me no matter what. And I wanted to uh, also, I wanted to say thank you to Lee for having me up. And Andrea, I can't wait to see you. I'm so congratulations on everything with The Conjuring and your books. Your book signing went awesomely well. Um, if you're watching, I want to say love you and I'll be seeing you at the end. Um, and I just want to just dedicate it again. Remember, um, when you see rescuers and you see anything that dogs that could be rescued, could you please do me a favor and just contribute? These animals are, are, are helpless. I have two amazing little uh, niece and a nephew, Bubbles and Jersey, that I see when I come up here all the time. And, um, and, and I just want you to help out them. And, and I miss my dog now. See, now I'm going to cry. So, again, thank you so much. Um, and we're live. We're in, in, and if you want to come to our event, you have to go to Facebook. And you have to get there. You have to do it because there's booking up. So go to Facebook right now if you're in North Carolina. Come visit us. You're going to see some amazing people at that house tomorrow. Love you. Thank you so much. God bless. Tell one person and you could change their life. Tune in next time because we ain't going nowhere.
are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Sundays 9 a.m. till noon. Carrie's Psychic Cafe with Carrie Silkowski, Sundays 8 till 9 p.m. Health In with Debbie Brooke, Mondays 11 a.m. till noon. Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Mondays 8 till 9 p.m. Reawaken Your Brilliance with Julie Seibert, Wednesdays 9 till 10 p.m. And if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by thatvidblasterguy.com, carolinaapparel.com, and deltaforce.net.